Hello there. So I'm taking you on a special walk this morning. And one of the things that I want to speak about is how there are so many people that have felt called or moved to come to live in this part of the area, which is Glastonbury and its immediate environment. And it's such a strange phenomenon I thought I'd speak about it. This has been going on for decades but it's been most extreme in the last couple of years. So what you have is an area where people who've always lived here inhabit plus a whole lot of people who've come from outside. And Glastonbury is very well known throughout the world as being a particularly powerful centre of spiritual activity. And one of the reasons for this is what we call ley lines. So ley lines are energy lines which run all over the world and you find that they are more concentrated in some places than others. Now as we go around the corner here we're going to enter what I call an avenue of ash trees and these ash trees are particularly spectacular and the very first one has got all these trunks and you can see in the distance a Glastonbury tour so it just turns out that this ash avenue is a really good way to explore the tour because you get to see it from a perspective that you cannot grasp when you're close to it so you see what I mean about these trees and if you have a look you can see how there are these balls hanging from these trees which is mistletoe massive mistletoe balls and the tradition in this part of the world is that mistletoe is cut down and sold and people put it in their houses and they kiss underneath it at Christmas time and the new year so I was really drawn to these trees they are just so they, they radiate a sense of strength and they're very very straight and pretty tall by English standards a lot of English trees don't grow this tall so one of my feelings I suspect that this avenue is on a ley line which is one of the energy lines which crisscross all over the planet and now we get an opportunity to have a look at the tour from a distance so let's just see what I can do to bring this up for you there we go that's it and I don't know how well you can see this but because of the angle that I'm at I can see the tower itself but I can actually see the portal the doorway at this angle at the bottom of the tower and there's a doorway either side so you go in one side out the other and I do apologize for having drifted with the camera there so this happens to be one of the most significant nexuses of ley lines in the world and I do mean in the world and this is like my film number one film number two I'm actually going to show you let me just uh, change the setting on this again ah, that's it on my film number two I'm actually going to show you a map that has been produced and I'll show you how that map is most likely being produced using very simple technologies which is called dowsing so it is utterly extraordinary how many ley lines intersect and not just in the general area of Glastonbury but in the very precisely specific area of the tour itself and whenever I look at it I, it does evoke a lot of feelings in me 
So I'm going to cross over and have another look from this perspective. There we go. Let's go for the close up. So it is extraordinary to realise that there are so many energy lines intersecting at exactly the top of that mound. And the other thing is if I do a very slow pan around the area, now we're coming up against something now. Now that there is called Weirial Hill and that's significant. It's also got ley lines running through it. But otherwise the general area is pretty flat and most unspectacular when it comes to any formations like hills or such like. It's just really pretty flat all the way around. And one of the things I have is how odd it is, how very strange that this really spectacular hill should exist in a place of such contrast. And in fact I've been doing some research and I've discovered that what I'm on is part of Somerset Levels. And here we come back to the tour again. There it is, right. So this, this area is called the Somerset Levels and there are what they call lake villages which means that for a very very long time ago people actually built houses in this part of the world. Let's just bring that back again. That's it. So they built houses and the, the land was so flooded they actually had to make platforms out of wood and they would put two piece of wood and two crossing two crossing to get above the water line and then they would build their houses on there and they have whole villages like that there's only a moderate number of places in the world where that happens and if I just dip down there you can see this whole area is full of these so basically the water is contained in these ditches and especially in the winter uh, the fields do flood and if I was to be on the tour, I'd be able to see a lot of evidence of flooding in the fields. So I'm going to get back onto my track with the trees. So ash trees in the Celtic tree oracle represent rebirth and peace. I always have a very good feeling about ash trees. One of the things I like about this part of the world is people acquire land and they live on it and technically that can be a really challenging thing to do in this country but people seem to manage it here more than in most places and there's a lot of people that have chosen to move here who don't have any financial resources to speak of and what they've done is they've, they've bought themselves caravans and they put their caravans on the land in fact I'll just uh, illustrates an example just over there there we are caravan on the land but a lot of them are just by the side of the road on the land so there's this sense that people have the feeling that they know they need to be here because something's going to happen and they're going to be able to be part of it and i do get a very strong sense that the majority of people know that they're here because there's work to be done there's things to do so historically, we all go back to the Atlanteans. So when the Atlantean continent was flooded and the entire thing was sunk under the water, a lot of people perished, but some people survived. And they went off in boats in all different directions, all parts of the world. Some of them landed up in Central America and supposedly gave birth to the Incas, the Aztecs, and a lot of the Mesoamerican civilizations. Some went right across the Mediterranean and helped to create the Egyptian civilization and to many other parts of the world. So this theory is that in all these different places that people have had advanced civilizations, that is related to people from the survivors of Atlantis going there 
interacting with the local people. Ah, oh, there you can see what mistletoe actually looks like. There it is, what an unusual colour plant it is. It's actually a parasite, it lives on trees and derives all its nourishment from the tree itself. So let's have another look at the tour as I'm saying this bit. So what I'm saying is people left Atlantis and went to all different parts of the world and one of the places they came to is this place right here. So there is a tradition of spirituality going back tens of thousands of years maybe even a lot longer but certainly around about 10 12,000 years ago is when the inundation happened at Atlantis and people some ended up here so a very extraordinary part of the world and every time I look at the tour and I particularly like the fact that I've discovered this is walkable from where we live I can literally just walk out the door 15 minutes later I'm walking along this Ash Avenue and looking at the tour and it gives me such good feelings that I cannot explain logically I'm not even going to try I don't need to because it goes way beyond that but there's a sense of I'm supposed to be here it's a very good feeling and I do very much enjoy inviting people to train as shamans and to train during the advanced course with us in our home and introducing them to this part of the world and the energy here and how special and exceptional it is. So that's the end of part one. Part two, I'm going to go into the ley lines a little bit more. Thank you.